Hello, I'm DJ Shifty here at DubSpot, and today we're going to learn a very important skill. But first, it's demo time! Let's boogie. The technique that I was uh, highlighting there uh, was how to manually correct the speed of a record. Um, in particular, I was speeding this record up uh, most of the time uh, manually in a technique that we call uh, pushing. So you notice that uh, the Flying Lotus uh, beat that I had going and the We Will Rock You acapella, um, the way I had it set up, they were not actually playing at the same speed. What I had to do is actually manually touch the record here, correcting the speed. Let's first think of the case when the song that we're bringing in is too slow. It's slower than the song that we already have playing out of the speaker. Uh, what we're going to do in this case, on the manual side of things, is to actually speed up the record. Uh, what we can do, there are a few different uh, ways about doing this. One of them is to place your finger um, either on the label or a little outside the label, actually leave it there and kind of rotate your wrist and your finger around and actually make the record play at a faster, steady speed. Another thing that you'll see people do um, are a series of kind of uh, little touches. That's called pushing. The flip side of that uh, is to slow down a record. Let's say that this song is faster than the song that we already have playing out and we're bringing in this song and we need things to line up. Uh, uh, once again, there are a few methods that we can use uh, to make this happen. One is to, on the platter itself, take one finger and just apply pressure. What we can also do is do sort of a, a, sort of a series of touches uh, what one instructor here at DubSpot creepily calls the turntable caress. Uh, so it's, that looks something like this. Good turntable. <laughs> yes. Yes. But these are our two methods. Pushing to make a record uh, go faster and pulling uh, to make a record go slower. On this side, it works the same way. You're either going like this or on the side here, you can have one finger here or a thumb here. Um, but in any case, you're usually working on this side of the turntable. So a good drill uh, to put this into practice, and it's kind of a, a challenging drill, namely taking two of the same song, making one at a different speed. You're never really probably gonna play two of the same song, one at zero and one at minus four. Um, but what this does is when things are on, you'll definitely hear it because it's two of the same track. And what you're going to do is do your baby scratch, one, two, three, four, release, and then manually correct the record and try to keep it in sync for as long as possible. So first let's have an example of this on the pushing side of the spectrum. So let's give that a try. One, two, three, four. Not bad, not bad. You could sort of hear when it was lined up and when it wasn't. If I didn't do anything at all, here's what it would have sounded like. It's getting really messy, it's getting really messy. But then I push and we're back. Uh, the dance moves are optional, but encouraged. Okay, so that's, that's one version. And then if we make the record go faster, we can simulate a situation where we need to slow the record down to line things up. Yeah, we're back. All right, we're back. 
so that's this is sort of like the turntable caress. Uh, or we can sort of do a steady amount of pressure. There you have it. So what I recommend doing to sort of build up this touch is to take two of the same song and purposely make one of the turntables uh, a different speed and just work on honing that physical skill where you either make the record go faster, pushing, or make the record uh, go more slowly. Make sure you're still doing your one, two, three, four, drop on the one, because that will ensure that your starting place is the same. So when things fall off, uh, you know that they're falling off because the speeds are different rather than you know you dropped in a weird way. As we continue on our journey, we'll eventually get the permanent solution, the pitch adjustment into the picture. Uh, but for now, push and pull till you can't push and pull anymore. I'm not saying you should do this until you die, just like until you have it mastered. Uh, DJ Shifty uh, here at Dubspot. Stay with us.